Uh, we have one last bit of movie news, and technically, this isn't movie news. This is more. Uh, this is a little bit more lighthearted and fun and positive energy. And um, when I read this article, there was no way that I couldn't talk about this today. You guys, Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter. Uh, got together on the interwebs today. They released a really short video. I think it's like a minute long. It's not very long to celebrate World Kindness Day. If anybody who is currently watching, if, if you've been watching the show with any amount of regularity, you know that I like to end every show by telling people to uh, be kind to each other. Perform acts of kindness for each other. If you find yourself in a, in a position where you can perform an act of kindness, take that opportunity. Please speak kind words to each other. Well, apparently, today is World Kindness Day. And today also happens to be my birthday. So this is news to me that November 13th... Coincidence? Right? What? Yeah, so today being November 13th, World Kindness Day, doubling as my birthday. Um, and, and again, like I always end every show by, by a plea of telling people to be kind to each other. But I also use a Bill and Ted quote in be excellent to each other. That's how I end every show. Be excellent to each other. Um, Chris, this is just warm kind-hearted nature just like very uplifting very positive news um have you heard of world kindness day this is this is news to me i'd never heard of it before and uh like what is what is uh an inspirative figure or i guess dual figures like uh keanu reeves and alex winter um as you know bill and ted how has their positivity infused kindness and like what what can we uh maybe expect from the public hopefully fingers crossed well one i i was not aware that it was uh kindness day i'm glad to hear it um but i agree with you it, it, our world has been rocked to the core and one of the things that i was hoping would be an outcome of covid was this uh, putting away of swords and shields and uh, breaking down of these false barriers that we put up and an acknowledgement of our shared humanity and the existential crisis that we were going through. And of course, uh, you know, dumb, dumb people uh, <laughs> ruined that. And, uh, <laughs> but even I myself have to remind myself to be kind to dumb, dumb people because everyone can be a moron uh, in their own story at any given point. I know I can, but I do think it's important to show kindness and, and more importantly, compassion for people because, you know, we're, we're, I will say not to get super political, but one of the things that I was inspired by recently was in, uh, Biden's, um, uh, speech, uh, after the election was called for him, uh, he said that we have to bring the temperature down. And I, and I think that that's very true. And, and I, for one, I mean, you know, Mike, you and I know each other personally. You, you've seen me go after people. <laughs> in well, you and arguments. me both. You and me so, both. So, uh, yeah, yeah. And so, I take that personally. I, I have to take the temperature down uh, some, and just remember that. You know, a lot of people where they're coming from when they're coming from a place of anger or frustration or a place of like, if you want to get deep into it, like racism or misogyny, uh, they're coming from a place of fear and they're coming from a place of non understanding. I think a lot about, um, oh gosh, I, you, you may have to take the reins here for a second. Cause there, there's something I need to look up. Cause I, my, my brain has yeah, you, quit. You go me. ahead and um, you look up so what just, you need to look up. Uh, but something that like is jumping out to me is, you know, specifically what kind of the road that you were going down, Chris, a little bit, was um, sometimes sometimes we have to eat our own crow a little bit, right? Um, you know, an instance just happened to me very recently on the book face, and um, uh, if uh, there there was a particular thread that I started, you know, um, I was very happy, I was very excited about something, uh, so I put this thing out, and it it just started this incredible. Uh, political discussion. I, I will omit the uh, the specifics of this political discussion, but there was one person in particular who was becoming, um, 
difficult to deal with. And in my own frustrations, I wrote a very long uh, uh, piece on this on this thread uh, comment. It was a very long comment, and I kind of ripped this guy a new one. Uh, I called him out, and I called him names, and I called myself out for calling him names. And I said, you know, this is, I'm sorry, but like, th I'm, I'm at my wit's end. I know what I'm doing. I know this isn't kind. I know this isn't good of me. I know this isn't right. But I posted it anyway. Um, a longtime viewer of the show um, who lives in the UK called me out on it. Um, and he's like, Mike, you're kind of, you're not following your own guidelines. You end every show by telling people to speak kind words to each other. And you've just called yourself out for not speaking kind words. Uh, and I mean, that's not okay. You're not following your own advice. It doesn't matter what side of any particular argument you happen to fall on, whether it's political or benign, wh what, whatever, whatever that thing happens to be, we can always speak kind words to each other. We can always practice a little bit of kindness, no matter what your uh, personal position is. <coughs> and so, you know, I, as much as I loved, loved ripping this guy a new one, I, you know, you know even probably to my discredit, I saved the comment in my phone uh, so I can uh, feel validated by myself as I read through it and nobody else, no other eyes can see it. Um, but yeah, it's it's one of those things of like, you're right, you're right. Uh, it, it is. I need to take this down because this is not doing anyone any favors. This is not creating any bridges. Um, like we need to, and you know, Chris, I I agree with that same sentiment. Um, uh, as spoken by uh the president elect, which is, let's take the te we need to take the temperature down. We need to take the temperature down across yeah, the and board. I I looked up what I had to look up. I just wanted to make sure I got this information right. And I was having a brain fart. Uh, but, you know, there's this great film called Accidental. Um, I can't even say the word. Accidental Courtesy. Uh, are you familiar I'm not. With this no. Film? Huh? Uh, well, it's uh, got to love them movies. <laughs> uh, it's a great documentary. Uh, it's about uh, an activist and a musician named Daryl Davis, who's an African-American um, pianist and uh musician a session musician he's played with everyone from uh elvis presley all the way to the rolling stones at some point in his career but what he's really famous for is that he befriends members of the kkk and he convinces them to leave i've heard and of this. the documentary I've heard of this. is about I haven't seen it but i've heard of this yeah, yes Right. And the documentary is about his process and about why he started doing it. And what was really interesting is that he said he never befriends anyone in the KKK with the intention of getting them to leave. He befriends them because he feels like one of the reasons why they belong to that organization is that maybe they never had a quote unquote black friend. And he wants them to understand what it's like to have compassion showed to them by someone who they may fear and hate. And it just takes such a strength of character to be able to yeah. do that. And I found a lot of inspiration in that. And yeah, it look, it feels great. It feels great to hit a bully. It really does. But, uh, you know, the, the thing I'll tell you is this uh, very briefly. Is I had a friend of mine who was a, an ardent uh, supporter of our current president. And uh, we maintained our friendship through the last four years. And before the election, we had a very long conversation uh, in which I sort of spelled out why I felt that it was not a good um, option to to choose re-election for this individual. And during the course of the conversation, this isn't about, uh, you know, this isn't about politics. I said, during the course of the conversation, I said, well, is one of the things that attracts you to the president is his strength. And is he the person that you wish you could have been in high school? You know, this idea of this like kind of strong person who can bully their way through most mm. situations. And he went, hell yeah. And I said, well, look, man, I knew you in high school. We were friends in high school. Instead of being the bully that you wish that you were, why don't you be the person that would have protected you at that age? Why don't you be the person who would have told you 
uh, that it's okay to be the person that you are, because I think he spent a lot of, uh, his, of his life kind of hating himself and who he is. I said, why don't you be that person as opposed to trying to be and emulate the bully that you wish you could have been. And I said, because let me tell you something. I've been a bully in my life. I, I, ha I was bullied and I have bullied people. A lot of people sometimes in the past would refer to my sense of humor as rather bullyish. I really love roasts and roasting people. That <laughs> yeah. kind of makes me laugh. Um, I mean, you know, Mike, you've been I on have. the receiving end of it. If, if I'm being mean to you, it's because it's because I love you. Um, but the thing is, is like you have to remember that if that's the only thing anyone ever sees of you, then they never actually see that that's the joke. They just think that yeah. you're a jerk. And so I, I bring this up to say that, like, I had this conversation with, with, with my friend and, you know, into the conversation. And I, I said, look, you know, regardless of who you, you choose in the election, we're going to be friends. I, I refuse to allow politics to get in the way of a friendship. Um, especially someone who I know in real life. And I know, and I knew, I know this person to be a good human being. So the sort of darker fringes of Trump supporters, oof, I said his name, uh, but the darker fringes of the president's supporters, this person is not one of these people. Um, and then like three days later, I get a text message from him saying, Hey, I gave a lot of thought to what you said. And I gave a lot of thought to what we talked about. And uh, I actually got this text on election day. And he's like, and I want you to know I, I voted for Biden. And I thought it was like a, it was a really touching moment. And it, it, it reinforced to me the power of just being yeah. nice to someone and letting them talk. And he ranted and he yelled and he said a bunch of crazy crap that I was like, that's insane. And when he would rant and yell too much, I'd be like, hey, hey, you don't have to scream at me. You know, my, we have 21st century phones. I can hear you. <laughs> uh, so it wasn't like we were just being like really like sweet to each other the entire time. But. It, re it reiterated the power of just compassion and kindness and the fact that we have to talk to each other. We have no uh, choice but to, yeah. you know, the, the, the social media and, and the thing that we're on now and, and um, YouTube and, and the, the, all these, the, the sort of world that we live in now reinforces the false illusion that we're in this alone when we're actually in this together and we have to be together in this. Or there will be. Well, no also, anymore. I mean, there will be you bring no up the, the concept of like social media and YouTube and, you know, just reaching out and, and thinking that we're alone. And, you know, these are incredible tools. These are wonderful tools that we have at our disposal. But also look at how we use them. You know, sometimes maybe. Well, we're 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 biped we're bipedaled hairless apes. You know, we're yeah. we're the people who. You you hand a, you hand a human being a uh, a machine a small machine that can create any food source in the world and they're going to use it to beat someone to death with. Two thousand one Space Odyssey. You know that's the that's opening the... opening sequence. Exactly. I'm glad. I'm glad that you. <laughs> it's got to love the movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course. Well, but you didn't see accidental courtesy, man. So it's got to love some movies. Fair. Not all movies. Fair. I mean, I mean, even there, just uh, lands the subjectivity of film. Oh boy, so many. Like, I I keep going back uh, to the Love Guru. I'm going on a on a horrible tangent right now. It has nothing to do with anything. Love Guru, horrible movie, just panned by audiences. Anytime you start with, anytime you start any sense with, let's talk about the Love Guru. It's, See, it's not going to be a good uh, sentence. That's, that's the whole but thing. I love that movie. I understand. <laughs> I I get it. People hate that movie. It's the movie that kind of ended Mike Myers' career. I love it. I think it's fun. And, you know, sure. nobody's right. Nobody's wrong. It just – it is what it is. Um, same thing. Like, there are movies that I can't – like uh, Citizen Kane. I do not think that is a good movie. But it's highly regarded as the best film of all time. Widely regarded, even. Uh, am I right? Am I wrong? You would – you are wrong for not liking Citizen Kane. <laughs> and if you want, we can have a watch party and I can walk you through why it's maybe not the best movie ever made, but it is certainly a very, I very good film. I appreciate it for what it is. Um, it's just, 
just a movie I just don't care for. I don't like it. Anyway, but whole other. I get it. I I, I get it. Like I feel the same way. I feel the same way about The Exorcist. People, I it comes on. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I get it. Um, I, she's spitting up. Ugh. She's stabbing herself. Ugh. She's spitting up. Gross. Stuff. Okay. No, don't thanks. <laughs> anyway, we got way off topic. Uh, but yeah, today is a uh, love and kindness day. So, uh, so big question for you guys is today being kindness day world. Uh, oh, uh, how did they put it? Celebrating World Kindness Day. Yeah. Um, how, what are you planning on doing today on A, my birthday, and B, World Kindness Day? Uh, what are some tips and tricks on how we can uh, infuse maybe a little bit of kindness into the world? Jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. Hey, everybody. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you really like this video, click subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, click share. Because that is exactly what Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles would want you to do. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles.